What's up, cuties? The Pop Pop Project wants to know uh, from the comments, how is the photo set up? How is it working? Are you still using it? Can you give us an update? Well, so basically, you'll have your stack of clothes. Here, let me wipe the lens. You'll have your stack of clothes right here. You want to get it like maybe a hundred high, ideally. I haven't been sourcing that much, so it's down to like 10 things. And then all this stuff I just got at Eco Thrifts, which I'm just going to show you. But basically, you've got your stack. Then you've got your boxes, which are going to slide into your inventory system. Which for me, looks like this. It's just consecutive numbers. Um, yeah, I've got three racks of them so far. Uh, they hold about 600 items per per rack, ideally. So yeah, you got your stack, you've got your little roll of uh, numbers, you got your lights, you got your fuzzy thing that holds the clothes. And then the process for photographing, it just looks like this. So this isn't, this isn't, I, I use an iPhone to do the photos. This is not the one that I use. I use the one I'm filming with. This is just an old one. But yeah, you can use any good iPhone that takes I think like 20 megapixels would be like standard right now. So yeah, let's do some jeans. You just throw them up on there. Straighten them out. I usually go for this photo of the whole jeans and I get the, like right here. If it's got a button fly, I'll take a picture of that. These don't, they're just a zipper. Take a picture of the tag if they're vintage levi's i'll take a picture of the back of the tag because you'll see the date there uh, this camera actually kind of sucks then i flip them over to the back of the pants and there's this should take under two minutes per item uh, otherwise you need to just work on it so then you got the back of the pants you got the butt these are orange tabs so i want to get a picture of the orange tab then i flip them over I get the inseam measurement. You just get right up to the seam there. These are 34. Um, what's good about, I, I put a, a Velcro on the back of my stick so it can just stick there. But you gotta be careful because sometimes it'll snag on knit clothing. Then I uh, put the camera low like this. I don't know if you can see that so that I can get that number. Um, pull them down, pull the seam to the very bottom. Put your thing there, get your rise, and you're going to pull the sides tight, um, get your waist measurement. So every time I take a picture and I need to like move the uh, measuring stick, I throw my phone down on this little stool, which is perfect grabbing height. I don't even have to look, it's just already there. Then after I've got the uh, photos done, I fold them. For pants, I go in half. You pull the seam, the, the crotch seam tight like that. I lay them down. I go in half. So in half. Then I fold the crotch in, and then I do it in thirds. I usually do that on this little table over here. And that fits perfectly into a 9 by 12 poly bag, which will always fit into a flat rate envelope, the regular paper one. So then you slide that. So any pair of jeans, if you fold them like that, these even have a, like a 34 inch inseam. They will fit into the flat rate envelope. Um, the adhesive on these bags isn't that great. So when I do jeans, and it's important to have a trash can. I have a trash can right here with a floppy lid. I put a piece of tape on it just because uh, it's annoying when the, uh, in, when the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So then I grab my, can you see? I grab my thing, stick it on there. This is taking a little longer because I'm talking, but see that? Now it's going to go into the consecutive inventory system. You can see five. 732, there's 5731. So it just slides right behind that. 
And then when this box is full, uh, we carry it out to the living room. And it just goes right after the last one. So then when you're pulling orders in the morning um, on the desktop, you just sort it by skew. And it'll always start, my first orders I pick will go this way. It takes like five seconds per order or less. I'm actually gonna pull those jeans back out and photograph them again with my good, with my good camera. But you get the idea. Just kinda did that to show you. All right, and then I think I'm gonna show you what I got at EcoThrip today. All right, popping you onto the tripod. There, and that's that view you're familiar with. Yeah, I spent 200 bucks at EcoThrift. Spent about maybe three hours in there almost. And got all this stuff. Let's just go through it. I didn't get to finish the entire women's section because they close at six, which is ridiculous. This uh, LL Bean shirt is made in Hong Kong, which means it's vintage. It was $3, it's a women's. Really cool pattern though, I love it. I would wear this, I think it's a rose. Chico's Travelers, one of my favorite ladies things to find. This is like kind of like a, it's the slinky, it's, a, it's called a slinky material. You can see how it bounces. It's like stretchy, slinky. This Chico's Travelers, it's like a cardigan, kind of with like this, uh, it's got sequin and like rosy floral stitching on it. It was $5. A lot of Chico's today. Chico's Zenergy. I got a buddy, Nothing New Thrifts. Um, I told him, hey man, you should check out Chico's Zenergy. Their joggers and stuff do really well. He was like, I don't wanna. Sorry, man, I just don't do women's, but Chico's Zenergy flies off the shelf for me. Um, these were five bucks, they were half off a of 10. And he's making a huge mistake not picking up Chico's Energy, considering he sells so many like Volcom shirts and stuff. These sell better than Volcom shirts, in my opinion. Got a Patagonia Capilene base layer shirt. I paid seven bucks for this. It's a women's. Um, when you find the Patagonia shirts, they almost, um, this one's Polar Tech as well, which is another good little keyword. It's like an insulation material. I think it's polyester. This one is a Capilene 2, so I think that's like the weight of the material. But the Capilene stuff does really well for Patagonia. Like if you find a Patagonia t-shirt or whatever, one of the performance ones, um, and it's Capilene, you should definitely put Capilene in the title. Uh, recently sold a triathlon suit by this company, Zoot. I think I showed it to you in a thrift haul video with my girlfriend's mom. That sold really fast. So I grabbed this Zoot cycling jersey which says Hawaii and has volcanoes and stuff on it. So I think it should do pretty well. It doesn't have a size on it. So I'm probably just gonna say women's medium. That's what it feels like to me. REI Co-op is like the only REI you really wanna buy, um, unless you're at the bins. This was $2. It's just like a basic t-shirt. I think it's called the Tech Tee. Here's a good one. Uh, Infowars. This is like Alex Jones, the conspiracy guy. It's his uh, website. He's definitely crazy, but I think he's kind of funny. People hate him. I would almost like to wear this ironically, um, but I'm sure this will sell. It was only two bucks. Anytime you find like influencer merch, if it's like a pretty famous influencer, it's usually pretty good, like YouTubers and public fi figures. Found this right at the bell when they told me I needed to check out Vintage. This was in the women's section. A lot of good stuff in the women's section. The women's top section there at EcoThrift. Um, what the hell does that say? George Washington University. Huge print on there. Awesome. I don't know what school that is, where it is, but that's gonna sell. This was also right at the buzzer. It was a close call. 50 bucks? No, it was 75% uh, off of 50. It's a Lululemon. I think this is the, the Swiftly Tech, but it's a it's a hooded one. If I had to guess, I'd say $40 to $50. All 
I have to look up the comps though. But uh, twelve fifty, I paid out for that all day. Even if it was just a basic Swiftly Tech shirt, just look them up. Look up Swiftly Tech. Yeah. Lululemon. You can tell by the circular thing on the chest. Just an Orvis uh, button up like camp shirt. For these outdoor brands, just their regular cotton button up shirts. Um, call them camp shirts. Also maybe hiking. Um, yeah, this is like modern Orvis. This isn't very good, but it was only 350. So maybe like 12 bucks on that. Ariat Pro, Ariat's a really good brand. Especially the shirts, the button up shirts that say Pro. Sold a ton of Ariat. They always seem to have little stains, but this one was pretty good. This was seven bucks. Those used to go for like 30, I think maybe like 25 now, 20, 25. Uh, this was five bucks. It's a Lucky Brand Men's Pearl Snap button up shirt. It's like 15 bucks. This is all stuff I've pretty much sold before. So when I say the price, that's just what I usually will sell them at. And usually I'll price them, they'll be priced higher than the price that I say. And then they use the coupon and then like this, probably 15 bucks. Columbia Vintage Fishing Shirt. So I'd probably price it at like 18 bucks or whatever, 18.88, and then my coupon would bring that to about 15 bucks, which is my favorite price to sell things at. Tommy Bahama Henley shirt. I've sold a million of these. This one was three dollars. Their Tommy Bahama Hawaiian shirts there, they priced it at like 40 bucks, but all the other Tommy gear, they're pretty cheap on. And that I'd rather buy the Henley shirts than the um the button up hawaiian shirts because there's not as many of them on ebay and they sell great um also the um the island zone polo shirts do really well Let's say prana this is another one i'd classify as a camp shirt i'd also put hiking shirt in the title this was seven bucks that's probably 16 bucks i'll sell for this was the only gamble i took i think today it was seven bucks it is anchor blue um it's like a dragon shirt i recently sold a shirt very similar to this with flames on it and it sold like instantly for 30 bucks this kind of aesthetic here this like y2k guy fieri and these shirts they're made out of like a soft thin polyester um this type of shirt seems to be doing pretty well so i'm gonna probably price that at like 30 bucks and the Anchor Blue Vintage stuff does really well. I don't know if that's technically vintage. I think it's like early 2000s. Um, Polo Golf Ralph Lauren for two bucks. It's got this cool like micro pattern on it. I think this might be vintage. It's made in Peru. So I'll probably put Peruvian cotton in the title. That's what I do every time it's made in Peru. Makes it sound pretty fancy. I'm going a little quick because I've got a lot of stuff for it was 75% off of 15 to like 350. Uh, this was another gamble. I don't know. This is uh, Kevin Durant. It's like a Nike kind of basketball graphic tee. I just thought the graphic was kind of big and I don't know much about basketball, but I've heard, I've heard of Kevin Durant. So that's a good sign. Abercrombie, see that little muscle tag there? Abercrombie muscle stuff, if you can get it for under five bucks is totally worth it. It flies off the shelf. Priced around 15 bucks. Um, yeah, especially like pink stuff. Like pink Abercrombie t-shirts do really well. The men's ones. This is a polo shirt, but it should do pretty good. And that was half off of whatever price you saw. Duluth Trading Co. For $3.50, it's a wool blend sweater. I think it's mostly cotton, but if it's 80% cotton and 20% wool, what do you do? I usually just say wool wool blend technically is i feel like it's more technically a cotton blend but that should be fine for like 25 bucks built it's kind of an athleisure brand brand bylt this was five bucks it's just like a pullover athletic shirt it's hooded is it a henley too yeah henley pretty good their t-shirts usually go for about 20 plus shipping and they sell pretty quickly I haven't found one in a while, so I don't know. Probably still good. These were 10 bucks, but they are new at the tags. You recognize that. I'm sure it's Columbia. 
I'm gonna find out exactly what ones these are. They are PFG, which makes them a little better. But this color, um, I really like this color. So that's kind of why I paid 10 bucks for them. They're pretty nice. They're cotton. I think I can get 25 for those because of the color. Uh, I've got a Carhartt for five bucks. It's a pearl snap. Uh, kind of, kind of Western. Usually if it has like these on the shoulders, if it has like a triangle right here, that's when I'll call it a Western shirt. Or when it has it on the back, it'll have another like, this one smells like a guy. So I'm probably going to definitely wash that one. Duluth Trading Co. It's kind of a trucker jacket. It's women's. It's like a light blue. Ooh, it's stretchy. It's a light blue stretchy trucker jacket for five bucks. Um, what would you call this material? It's sort of denim. I don't know. That should do pretty well. Dude, I killed it right when I walked in there. That's why I stayed so long. Diesel. Some diesel jeans. Uh, they're men's. They didn't really say diesel anywhere, but they're on the pocket, and I just I lasered in on that. Uh, they were only five bucks, which is crazy. There's got to be something wrong with them. Well, they're no. I'm not seeing anything wrong with them. Maybe you can see, but I guess there's like a little bit of wear on the butt, but that doesn't really matter. And some seven for all mankind men's jeans. The men's will usually be button fly. The uh, A pocket, they also make women's A pocket. These are a men's. 34. Double check. Yeah, they're men's. I wouldn't pick these up if they were women's, but for men's, it should be like, probably pricing like 35 bucks. I've sold this model of diesel jeans several times. Yes, that's another pair of diesel jeans. These ones are seven bucks. The Zatini, and I believe I got like 60 bucks for these last time. These are really small though. What size are these? Like really small. These are 28.30. That's probably why they had them priced so cheap, but they'll still flip. If I had to guess for like 40 bucks at least. And we've got another pair of diesel jeans. Same model or style. Those ones are 27.30. So for a little boy, but five bucks. Um, this, okay, this was another gamble. I don't know why I bought this. <laughs> I just had a feeling. I'm sure I can flip it. It was three bucks. The company's called Hopped. It's German. I think it's made in Germany. It's like a, um, it was the pattern and the fact that it was like German. Just, I had to buy it. I don't know why. It was, I don't usually do that, but every once in a while you do that. The numbers weren't great. I was just on a roll. Got an Air Jordan shirt with Michael Jordan on there. It was $2. I probably wouldn't buy it for three. Maybe. Oh, we got more Chico's Energy. These, if you price them at $19.99 or I price them at $19.88, these golf pullover shirts, they literally sell the same day. So you might think in your head, well, then why you should price them for higher, but I'd rather just sell them the same day. There's a loose thread here. Like, every time I list them, they sell the next day, so. Don't forget to put golf in the title. These are kind of like chubbies, but they're not. They're called stubbies. <laughs> I thought they were like a knockoff chubbies, but these are actually first. These are vintage made in, they're Mexico, but these are vintage as hell. Yeah. And some of them sell for like 35 bucks. We got some Vulcan pants, a little bit of stains on the butt. Someone had to do a little spot treatment on that. 
get this this is the best it's called oxyclean max force and you're supposed to leave it on there for up to a week so what i do is i like when i'm pulling my shit out of the bags from the thrift store and i'm doing my pile i give it the smell test then i throw it up under the light look for stains and when it's got a stain i take this stuff because it can be left on there for so long and I'm telling you, this is the best stuff. You kind of get in there, you rub it in with your pinky. OxyClean Max Force. This is a sponsored ad. Oh, dude, if I don't want to do commercials on here, but I would totally do commercials for OxyClean or Shout. But yeah, these are Volcom shorts with little, uh, what do you call those? Thrift of Life fly hooks. That's why I grabbed them, because of those. Because otherwise I would leave them because of the stain, but got some BKE, BKE, buckle. Men's jeans, these are Jake. Yeah. They were 25% off of seven. Was that a 550? Oh, here's a Bolo brand I never heard of till today. Company's called Rogue Fitness. It's like 150% sell through rate. Um, just on the whole brand. So that's really, really good. These were four bucks. I got these despite, see how like the, uh, this is one of my pet peeves on stuff is when like, this isn't screen printing. This is cheap heat transfer printing, but, um, basically iron on a lot of companies do that now. Um, but see how it's like all cracked. I hate that. It really bugs me, but I got these anyways, because of the super high sell through rate. And they were only four bucks. So yeah, I think they might be MMA shorts. Uh, I got a pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These ones are very nice. Sometimes they're just very nice. I like Lucky, and they're coming back. I've seen skateboarders wearing them. Skateboarders are always first on this shit. All right, twenty-five bucks. Seventy-five percent off of that is uh seven fifty so seven fifty for a really nice pair of luckies and see this is what i was talking about in the last video the more modern ones will say the style over here and then have the size over here whereas the older ones will have like a triangle here where inside the triangle says the size oh my god i better be filming all right we're still filming and then i've got just a queen band shirt from 2019 adam lambert is the singer for them i guess at this concert that was three bucks oh, here's another bolo for you the company is this is vintage and the company is called cliff keen this is a wrestling shoot i forgot what it's called it's a wrestling Wrestlers wear this. What is it called? I don't know. I should get like $50 for this. It's over 100% sell through for like 40 to 100 bucks or whatever. Really good. So I should get at least 50 for that. A lot of the ones that were selling for more had like graphics all over them. Uh, 32 Bar Blue is another uh, Bolo brand for you. The last one I got had stains all over it unfortunately so i flipped it for like 11 bucks but it sold instantly for 11 bucks um i don't remember the sell through rate but when i saw this i got excited so i'm thinking it's somewhere in here my brain knows it's a high sell through rate. this was um 25 off of seven bucks but 32 bar blues i guess look it up i think they go for like 25 to 30. this shirt god smack i think this band is kind of like creed or something i don't know but this shirt there's two listed for 70 dollars and zero sold so i'm gonna list it for and it's not vintage and neither were the other ones on ebay what i'm thinking is that one vintage one on a more vintage tag like an early 2000s tag sold for 70 and then all the people that got this more modern one Listed it for the same price as that vintage one, thinking they would get that, and they've been up there forever. But I'm just gonna list it for like 40 bucks or something and see what happens. And that is it. I gotta find my receipts for tax purposes. So it's been 95 bucks. Um, 
The lady made me do two transactions because they got a new payment processor. But 95 plus 108 is about 200 bucks. That's pretty good. So thank you for watching.